First of all, as the caller said, mm -hmm. there are reasons why people step out. You can be the prettiest girl. You will still get born because of something or other. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. And there are some men out there and some women out there you know, who just do it because you allow them to. So apparently, um, one of the Wayan brothers, um, mm -hmm. which one is it? Marlon. Marlon had, had something to one. say about this whole thing. And listen, the, the, the conversation is not about Nia Long right now. The conversation is based on what he says. All right, so we're gonna play this for you guys. And, and I want us to have a little conversation about that. We have just about another 20 minutes. Ooh, another 17 up. minutes to go. So I want you all to look at this one. Nia Long's fiance, the, the head coach is, you know, all in the headlines. And um, one of the NBA players said, it's not even about who you're cheating on. For men, it's more so that men get bored. I know in your industry, a lot of men have access to women all the time. Um, I just think personally, you know, working in entertainment, do most high profile men not have understandings with the women that they date? Nothing, when you are unbreakable, the media, embarrassment, other women, nothing's going to break you because I, I found love. I found partnership. I found my forever. And in order to find forever, you're going to have to live in a way that it bends and it don't break. That's your best friend. And I would say to Nia Long, sis, if he's all those things, yo, never mind the embarrassment, never mind all that. I would say this to my daughter. I would say it to my sister. Are you happy? Before this moment, were you happy? Right. Mm -hmm. So work on your relationship. He's a good man. If as a father, I'm going, he's a good man. He provides. He's there for you. You seem so happy when y'all together. You you know, he, I, I like him. Your family likes him. He has all these great qualities. And because he slept with another woman, yeah, she probably think the same way of him that you think. He's a dope dude. Why would you throw a dope dude away? For her to have them be alive. So that is the that is the question. Like, do you look at all the attributes of the cheating man and decide to yourself, you know what? He cheated on me, but he has all these different things. And do you say, you know what? Uh, Make us deal with this, you know? uh, Or do you uh, say, listen, eh -eh, you can't do this to me and, and get away. Me gone, me done. And leave him for the other woman to get him. So we're not talking about Nia Long. Please do not call us about Nia Long. Right. But tell me, that should she, you know, throw this dude to the curb who she's been with for what, 10 years, right. they have a child with. Right. He's been a good provider. He's right. been a good father. Right. He's been, you know, respectful and loving and all of these other things that you, chances are you don't, you won't find right. in another dude. So this is a marriage couple you're talking about? Yes. Because this, this sounds eerily similar to our earlier supposition. Mm. But you know, it sounds similar, yeah, but, but but this is your man. Right. This is your husband. This is your baby father so, of ten years, and so, you have a loving relationship. So now this is a detailed situation. Yeah, but it's not. There is a side and a main involved in all of this. Let's take a call. All right. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yes, how are you? Stranger, well, go ahead. <laughs> well, um, here's the story. Go ahead. Um, I, I agree with if your girlfriend or wife um, cheats on you. Mm -hmm. and, and there's usually something that drives the cheating episode, of course, but mm -hmm. separate and apart. She cheats on you for one reason or another. However, it's a long-standing relationship. Um, the other attributes, like Sherry says, are impeccable. Um, wonderful woman. And you're still trying to search your mind. What really happened? What could have possibly led to that? What did mm. happen? I believe, and this is, unfortunately, men are very unforgiving. Let me just put that on the record. Mm -hmm. Men are not likely to forgive women in a cheating, cheating episode. Thank you. On the other hand, women will forgive 
men, even if they cheat with them with their sisters. Mm. Um, and, and there's exception to the rule. But the point I'm making is there's a gender difference as it relates to forgiving, as right. it relates to cheating. Right. Women, by far, willing, ready, and sometimes even with a second cheating, cheating episode, mm -hmm. they will forgive again. Mm. Unfortunately, for men, it's, it's a one strike and you're out situation. Uh, That's sorry, how we operate. Mm -hmm. um, however, I do believe, though, honestly, this is just me, you know, if you say people make mistakes, I think people miscalculate situation. I think people do things carefully or and they make some stupid moves. But I think for the one, and especially the, the woman has been a good woman throughout, mm -hmm. and, and man too. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think you should have used that one cheating episode and say, you know what? I'm done with you. That's just my thing. Well, who cheats once? Well, there's a one find one. out. One, one find people, out. Yeah, one time ones. you get. They get no, caught let once. But no, let me address yeah, that for Diggy. Yeah, well, yeah, a that. woman will step out of a relationship mm -hmm. for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. She will assess the situation mm -hmm. and she will say, that is not for me, and she'll never do it again. There are women who have cheated once okay. because the man either pissed them off or right. whatever happened. Right. But then realize, uh-uh, cheating is not for me. All and right. then they rather break up with you. Right. Women will rather break up with you right. than to continue a cheating game. Uh, most women are not into that. So, so uh, I mean, go ahead, sir. So, what do you, all right, so when she decides to cheat, she just go choose some random dude. I'm not saying no, that part doesn't... Right. It's, it's random when she's angry, you're not paying her attention. So she's just she going to choose anybody. She's yes. just going to... Anything to massage her ego, her mind, right, or whatever right, emotion, right, right. that usually... Which is why people say... You say usually, or I don't think that's the norm. I, I, I would think... No, that, 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 absolutely not. I would think usually that she when has... a woman cheats with somebody, mm -hmm. or somebody would have my talk with uh, her. And so, the man just kind of mess up and then kind of just flip to the other side, it, usually. It, here's a conversation I had with a female the other day. Right, and here's what she... I knew you were going to do that. And here's I what she explained. <laughs> no, no, because, I mean, I'm going to explain something to you about me, Sherry. Most of my closest friends are female and not male. We know. That's why you argue. We know. Right? <laughs> that's because that's because I'm tactical in my approach. Right? Yeah, we know. You're trying, right. you're trying to bet all of them. <laughs> no. I, I've always wanted to learn what makes y'all tick. Because well, right, at the end of the day, hanging out with my brethren is cool, but I'm not going home to one of them. I'm going home to one of y'all, so I need to know where y'all at. That's my benefit. Anyway, so talking to my female friend, she explained to me, she said, like, when I see a guy, I don't have to say anything to him. If I find him attractive, I play the scenario out of my head. I see it happening. I can see him in this position, that position, whatever, whatever. But I don't have to act on it. I ain't even got to let him know about it. Mm -hmm. Right? So nine times out of ten, like I said, the person that is going to be selected for the cheating, the sex already happened in the woman's brain. So she's deciding to act on what she imagined. It doesn't have to be anything like, you know, it, it doesn't have to lead to anything long term. But she cheated before she got to the actual actualization. I think that's, the, that's that lady you are talking As to. As a man thinketh, so is he. Yeah, but I'm just saying that is the lady that yeah. you are okay, talking so to. Okay, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to extrapolate that. And even if that leads me to 10% of the 100, mm. right? That is a viable scam. I... All right, so I'll take 30 seconds. and Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, well, here's what I'll say. I think there's an element of truth in what Diggy just said, that a woman would have mentally explored the person who she's going to cheat with. I think there's some truth to that. However, I don't think it generally applies mm. to all women who cheat. So Nothing is 100%. With that. Yes. Right. So, but, so to Sherry's point, that was the individual to whom you spoke yeah, with. Yeah. And, and clearly that's how she explained it to you. But mm -hmm. my thing to Sherry's point is a woman cheat on you and she's a good woman or a man cheat on you and he's a good man. 
generally speaking, I think that is room to start decide whether or not can forgive each other. I just okay. might think that. I agree. Yeah. All right? I agree. Thank I you. Agree. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very interesting as we're talking about this. We talked about the girl earlier, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Who had the side dude. Mm-hmm. She was a garden tool. Right. Just because. Because she was more than one. Just because it was two dudes. Right. She never had a whole heap of dudes. Right. She only had the two dudes. Man, that's too many. However, however, this brethren Mm -hmm. has been playing the field, Mm -hmm. but he's still looked at as a good man and give him a chance. I never said that. That was more than in his foolishness. No, but I'm just saying that's what most people are saying. Like if the dude and I agree too, you know. I don't I'm not even saying I I don't don't agree because here's the thing. I know that there is no perfect human being right. out there. Right. There's some things that some people are better at, right. and there's some things that some people are really bad at. Right. You know, you have to know now, is the dude that you're with, or the woman that you're with, is a thing that they're bad at mm-hmm. cheating? And can you deal with it? You see what I'm saying? Well, here's, here's, here's where I hear, or what I hear echoing in the back of that. Mm-hmm. They have a problem with honesty. Right. And do I want to deal with that? You know, um, part of part of it, it being being honest in a relationship, you know, it sometimes takes some brutality. You know what I'm saying? Um, look, you don't think some people are just weak? No. You, I think some people are weak. weak. No, you you we 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 make conscious decisions to do whatever we want to. We the excuse is that you're weak. Mm-hmm. Right. But the idea that. All right. So when I used to cheat. When I was in relationships, and I would cheat on the people that I was in relationships with, before the act, my body would go through it. You see, I shake. Because I knew I was doing something wrong, My, it would take me a while to be like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. just give me a second. Give me a second. It would really get visible, right? Mm-hmm. Because in my mind, I knew... What I was doing was wrong, and that was my body physically reacting to it. So, so here's here's the question. Well, now. I did it anyway. No, nowadays, um, I I want to say that there's not that high regard for relationships anymore. Right, right. I think that people just feel like if I want to be with somebody, I'm mm-hmm. gonna be with somebody, and I don't care. Right. And I see that happening even with re- some relationships that were long term. I see the ease and access and and fluidity of sexuality is such that people are not putting the value on it so much, Mm -hmm. right? And as a result, people just do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not even like they're thinking of the repercussions or whatever. It's like, you know, you got to, is that you accept it or not? And people out there are saying, okay. Do you find that people are accepting these things more and more? Uh, this is what it is. Netflix and so, chill. So, there, so the no, reason the reason why I say that no is because court. even though I'm I, I'm I'm agreeing with Marlon Wayans right. about what is happening here with Nia and her guy, right. I'm agreeing with it because they're married and they have a child. Yeah. If this guy really wants to save the relationship, mm-hmm. they should go through the process mm-hmm. of getting counseling. I would not trust him mm-hmm. outside of that whole exercise. Say it again. Getting counseling. No, no, no. What word did you trust? Do? Yeah. I would not trust him outside of that. So so not- so so me saying it is not just in a vacuum. Right. Is that they have to go through that process. First of all, as the caller said, mm-hmm. there are reasons why people step out. You can be the prettiest girl you will still get born because of something or other. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. And there are some men out there and some women out there you know, who just do it because you allow them to. Right. So it's like, it's from both angles. Did so she just leave him up? Is, you know? I want to ask a question, Sherry. Let's let's take this call. First. All right. All welcome, right. welcome, caller. Yeah, me again. Yes. All right. I believe since Donald Trump came into this era <laughs> and they watched Donald Trump do so much stuff. Right. And yeah. around that same time, they had a lot of big people, politicians and other, you know, actors and stuff got away with so much stuff. People just feel like, yo, we can do what we want. Amen. But mm-hmm. 
at the end of the day, God see and knows everything. Exactly. You can hide from mankind, but you can't hide from God. Amen, Amen. So to when that. People think, when, they, when they think they get in the way in the dark, what's done in the dark will come out to light. light. Yes. You know? So see don't be here? discouraged, the good people out there. Yes. They, 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 there's good people. For, for a good person, a good man, a good woman, it's just that the negativity overrules. Yeah, you know, everybody was quicker to do it's quicker to do wrong and harder to do right. You know. Amen. All right. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Know, have you. a wonderful afternoon and. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks Same for the to support, you. brother. Same to you. Yeah, man. Hey, <laughs> Sherry. So, yes. All right. So I'm going to ask you a question. The question is, do you think that cheating is a form of abuse? And, if and it's a form of abuse. Yes. And if it is, would you advise, if somebody was in an abusive relationship, would you advise them to continue to be in that relationship i'm of the opinion mm -hmm. that cheating and and, and and people who chronically cheat are emotionally abusive yes. it's Thank not you. a form of physical abuse but it's emotionally abusive and i would not advise anybody who is in a relationship with somebody who is a chronic cheater to continue in that relationship because that's accepting a form mental psychological abuse and i'm gonna leave it right there okay so i, I agree with you that it is a form of abuse right. if it's chronic if, right. it's, if it's continuous mm -hmm. i also believe that people have feelings mm -hmm. you understand and nobody's perfect mm -hmm. and i also a third um, um insight is that some people are victims of their circumstances. Okay. So some people, they have underlying reasons why, which is why I say mm -hmm. I would only advise her to do that mm. if they go, if they agree, both of them wholeheartedly, 100%, to go through counseling okay. to find out what was the reason behind the reason. Mm -hmm. Did he feel he was lacking something? Mm -hmm. Or did he feel entitled? Mm -hmm. Or was he weak? Okay. You understand? Okay. Did she not do something? Did he not do something? You understand? Right. Because sometimes, not that it's an excuse, but sometimes one person drives another person to do something. Okay. But the love that you have, though, should supersede everything else yeah. because that love should be for that person no matter what. Hey, just because I'm not with you don't mean I don't love you. I'm going to love you from a distance. You punch no. me in my face. No, no, I don't no, but trust you, and I'm not giving you a second yeah, opportunity. Yeah, but we're talking about this. But I'm saying, it, just in the, me, personally. Yeah, yeah, anywhere yeah, else, yeah, in I'm any not, other situation, of course, I'm definitely. I, any, I can any, love any, you from any. afar, and that that can cover I, so many different I'm things. I'm married to you. I'm in a relationship with you. You violate. Goodbye. So you don't want to go through the I counseling? I don't go back. No, we're not talking about going back. You're married. I, so if somebody cheats on you for the I'm first gone. time, I'm gone. you don't want to figure it out? No. Keep going. You are in a Same ten energy. year relationship. Same energy. Keep it going. With a child. Same and the, I that that I will always be related to my child. Yes, yeah, so you I you don't need you no, to no, be I'm not trying to convince related to my you, no. child. No. I'm not trying to convince I, you. I understand that. I'm just saying. Wow, so you just that's it, it. It's over. So you think that everybody is so perfect that you couldn't. It has nothing to do with perfection. Have... You okay. can continue your behavior, but not in my life. That's All it. Right. I got you. Right. I got you. Right. All right. So, folks, guess what? We are at the end of the show. Yeah. yeah. So, make sure I say, on a don't cheat pan diggy, because uh, diggy ain't, although hey, diggy, hey, I give hey, on left, right, and center, hey, hey. and can't take I it. I can't. I've been there, and it hurt like, hey, I don't want to do it no more. That's why I stopped doing it. You know, when well, I got I'm it very, back, I'm, I stopped. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm very yeah, happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He has moved to a higher level. Yes, I have. Thank you so Amen. very much for sharing that with us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being a part of Morning yeah, yeah. Vibes this morning. I appreciate love it. Thanks to all the calls, all the um, all the chat room um, mad things. Listen, I will put mad things in the chat room. Some of the things we can't even repeat, repeat. them. Yes, you understand? Yes, but yes, yes. listen, we'd love for you guys to download the app <laughs> and be a part of the family because it is crazy when I tell you. Sherry Morgan here on behalf of myself, Kiba, and H. Diggy. Yeah. Ooh, we are over the top of the hour. Just saying, enjoy the rest of your day, right? All right. Brick, bum, brick, bum, brick. Yes, indeed.